What is up, guys? Today we have another tier list, and we're gonna be doing um, <clears throat> sorry, all brothers ranked from F tier to a S tier, but in for ranked, so not not casual like showdown or anything. Ranked competitive three v three modes. So before we get into it, I appreciate it if y'all like and subscribe, and if you want to see gameplay videos of me playing Brawl Stars, let me know in the comments below. So we're gonna start with the F tier here. Frank, I'm still worst brawler in the game. His health so good, but the amount of Brawlers, I can just absolutely counter his super. is not gonna, it's not gonna improve him anytime soon. Doug, Hank is gonna go below Doug. Um, I have just kind of an order here. Um, just kind of a guesstimate, but yeah. So Hank, still not good. You know, he the ability not to be able to heal, and you can see him in bushes, makes him like just not be able to, you know, hold his full bubble at all. Doug is gonna also be going in the F tier. He's just. He's not that good. He's only good for showdown. He got nerfed because I accidentally buffed him too much. It was an accident. But yeah. Let's go to D tier. First one to start with Mandy. Not good. You know, a worse Piper by a lot, in my opinion. Um, Honestly, not. His, her super is pretty solid. Penny. D tier. Nothing special. Never has been, to be completely honest. But yeah. Janet, same thing here. Her thing takes too long to charge, like her damage up, it's pretty solid, but there's way better options. And same with Maisie, since other brawlers are gonna be getting her hypercharge, she's really not that good. Um for the last one we have last one for the D tier, sorry. We have Daryl. There's way better tanks and he needs a hypercharge to be in the meta at all. Now we're gonna move up to the C tier. Brawlers that are playable. B you know, she's always been a solid option in my eyes, but I just she just can't compete, honestly. Be completely honest, she just can't compete. You know, her thing doing only 1k, you have to hit her like charge attack. His just not, she's not too solid to be honest. Um, not both. Gus is gonna go solid support, can do a good amount of damage, but you know, you gotta have some skill. But really, there's way better supports like this dude right here, Byron. Oh my gosh, he's so annoying. Mortis needs a buff. I don't know what they're gonna do to him, but he needs a buff. He's fun to play, and he's really good in casual, but ranked. Nothing crazy, honestly. Um, Bull. So counterable. You know, people can bounce him away like EMZ, Gene, all that. He's counterable. Chester. It's a good tank killer. It's like, just just better options, honestly. I don't really know what else to say about it. Way better throwers. Grom solid, but there's way better throwers. Um, 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 squeak. Like, good area control, but for ranked, nothing crazy, honestly. Be so honest. Lou. No, I'm gonna go Crow next, honestly. His poison's annoying, but his damage is really not up to par with, like, some other brawlers. Lou. Still solid in my eyes, but, you know, like, I don't know what that, I don't know what to say about him. His air control is good, but you know, I feel like he just can't. There's so many better options. Bo, moving all the way down. Needs a hypercharge, honestly. Fang, slow attack speed can get smelted. And then, hold on, I want to put Miko and Tara below. Um, whatever. Tara's always pretty, pretty mid, to be honest. Like, her piercing attack's good, but it's nothing crazy. Miko. People have learned his timing by now. Like he's not that solid. Now the last brawler in the C tier, Lily. Same thing with Fang. Attack speed's too slow. Can get melted by the time she can do enough damage. B tier. Actually, we're gonna throw Surge in there as well. Just because of no showdown, like he can't stay charged completely. He's still a solid option though. B tier. Brawlers that you can play, but I wouldn't recommend it. Willow. Way better throwers to be honest. Edgar. It's been getting worse and worse from more brawlers getting their hypercharges, but yeah. Chuck. Still amazing for Heist, but you know, his damage output is he's kind of a weird brawler to be honest. I don't really know much about him. Bonnie. Got better. Thick, like thick bullets, you know, these actually can do a bit a lot jeez. Can do a good amount of damage at a quick speed, but yeah. Eve. Always been solid, honestly. But still unspecial about him. Can walk over water, I guess. Um, we're gonna go. No, I, I meant to grab Tick. With Tick's new hypercharge, she's become more in the meta and way more usable. But his too, too, still too squishy. He can jump on. 
and still can repel damage, but nothing crazy from him. Otis, no, I'm gonna go Barley. There's better throwers, but definitely has gotten better, to, to be honest. Okay, 8 bit. His super and his damage output, that possibility keeps him up in the B tier. Otis, solid, but. Honestly, kind of fell off. She, I thought she was she or he or they, it, whatever. Um, was really solid, but not anymore, to be honest. Okay, we have roughs. Good support. There's obviously a better option. This guy, but honestly, not bad. Probably could even be higher. All right, we got Pam. I haven't seen anyone play Pam in like ages, but her healing turret is still useful. Now I'm just gonna throw a Draco. I'm, I'm gonna make a whole new category for him. Who knows? Yeah, boom. Okay, Carl beats here. He's solid, but I just, you know, I'm just gonna make the tier list and there's not much to say about him. We also got Larry Laurie, finally nerfed. You know, balanced brawler now. Maybe a little too mid. We also have Lola, Griff, um, Shelly, and Rosa. All these brawlers you know, are still solid options in my opinion. But now we got Mr. P, kind of fell off. He was like S tier about a month ago in my eyes. He was very annoying. He still is kind of annoying, but there's better options. All right, now we're going to put Buzz. No, we have Primo. Then we have EMZ, Buzz, Dynamite, BB, Gale, Sam, wait, Sam's below EMZ, oh, no, Brock's above Gale, Sam's below EMZ, and Jackie, Pearl's below Brock, and I'm pretty sure that's my B tier. Okay, Jackie, counterable now. More brothers having their hypercharges can get away from her. Counterable. BB, same exact op thing here. Buzz, <coughs> people know how to counter him in rank. It's different than casual. You can't just latch onto someone and stun them. People are gonna like jump on you, all of them. Brock, very good. He's just kind of hard to use, and he's kind of a little low HP. Pearl, still solid, still can do a lot of damage. Now, bottom of the eight. Oh, sorry, yes, I forgot Ash. Ash was where I put him in my rough draft here. Ash was below Shelly. New range has made him a lot better in the meta. He's just been better in the meta, but nothing really. Um, what's it called? That crazy about him. Okay, eight here. Now these are brothers that are good. Really, really good. All right, let's start with Sprout. Probably the best thrower. If I'm missing one, I think he's the best thrower. Now we're gonna go. Oh, what? Okay, Colt. Really, really strong right now. I don't know why he's so underrated. He's still good. He's always been good, and he will still always be good. Stu, really solid right now, especially with that gadget. It's working really well for him right now. Poco, kind of good right now. Between his um healing abilities and. He can actually do a decent amount of damage. He's been solid. Rico, finally up in the meta. To be honest, really good brawler, really good choice. Colette, always been a solid option, especially for Heist. Griff, I mean, sorry, Gray, really good for Brawl Ball, solid. Nita, I don't know, I forgot to put her below Rico. But her new hypercharges made her actually really good and really annoying to play against. Buster, below Gray. Whew, that shield's kind of annoying. He can just help the team like he's a, a team brawler spike still a tier even though he has been like a little bit worse with the new um my new hyper charges and everything leon still a just honestly fell off the meta in my, meta in my opinion I'm not seeing as much as him but kit really 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 good right now but that like huge damage buff i do not want to play against kit it's kind of crazy. Okay. RT. I've been saying it, and I'm still going to say it. 
really strong option. You can do so much damage, especially with that new gadget. You can just be so versatile. It's so good. Nani just can deal so much damage. Do I have to say anymore? Cordelius did like stop. He stopped being used a good amount, especially with the Lily and the Shadow Realm and everything. He's still so, she's still really solid. I don't care what anyone says. Now the top on Max. We'll talk about Max in a second. The top of the A tier is Meg. We're gonna have ten in the S tier. Meg, dude, she's still she's st so good with her damn turret. Well, not turrets. Sorry, excuse me. With her um robot, so good. Max's new hypercharge is probably one of the best in the game. I know I said that she was one of the worst in the last one. But that's whatever. S tier, the best of the best. Starting with Jean, new hypercharge is absolutely insane. Can if you pull people in your team, you can just get a team wipe. That's not likely, but still good. Amber, still really solid option. Can deal so much damage. Did get a little bit of nerf, though. Jesse, Hypercharge is still one of the best with her turret. It's basically unkillable when you can heal it. Piper, dude, so annoying. I ban her in every single long range map because she can deal so much damage. If you play against a good Piper, oof, you're cooked. All right. Um, Number six, Angelo. Some people think she's still, he's still the best in the game. I don't think so. Okay, what is this in the top left? Sorry. So such a solid option. Can do so much damage. The poison did get nerfed, so that's why I'm putting her lower. Him lower. Sorry. Now for the top five. Start with Bell. Dude, Bell is insane. With her bouncing, but she's like she's like a better Piper and a better Angelo because she can just constantly deal damage back and forth to other teammates if they don't separate. And honestly, I've maxed her out. She's been so fun to play. Number four, Byron. Best support in the game. Oh my gosh, he can just rapidly heal. He's broken right now. I don't know, they might need to nerf him. They might need to like, nerf his healing by like 10% or something. I don't know. Something. Now, the brawler, that will never be bad. Charlie. She can cocoon you. You drop your gems. You drop the ball and brawl ball. Like, so good. Can just take you out of a match for like five seconds. No. Number, no. Number two, Melody. Still amazing. Can dash around like a mad woman. Sorry, that was corny as hell. Um, but just such a good option. Now for the best brawl in the game, Sandy. New hypercharge is insane. It silences you. You can't attack. You still do damage in there. It's huge. It lasts forever. She's already broken with her super, and now that just does it. Here's my tier list here. If you guys want a screenshot, I know you probably won't take opinions from me. But if you enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. No video Friday. I will be away at the beach for Memorial Day. And I'll see y'all next week. Peace.